Welcome back to Vegas Live. And of course, I'm down here at the Pepper Mill having a fabulous time with all my guests. They're just amazing and they're all so different. And do I have a couple of those sort of, I get, keep getting comedians on lately. And I have a hypnotist who's, you are also, uh, Steve Falcon, you are also a comedian as well as hypnotizing comedy people. Comedy hypnotist. So the first thing comedy you learn hypnotist. is how to hypnotize people. Yes. Then if you're not funny and you can't make people laugh, you shouldn't be calling yourself you a comedy hypnotist. So no. I strive very hard to make people I would think chuckle. that bringing the comedy into it is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It keeps, it keeps the action going, keeps the audience engaged. But can yes. I say, I, first... Yeah, it's a pleasure. Say, to, it's, can... First of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, person. pleasure to meet you. Too. And I love the location. We're here at the Pepper Mill. Yes. And a very quick, uh, great story about the Pepper Mill. Yes. This is the first place I ever spoke with my wife. Right oh, there by really? that fire pit. Yeah, oh, this is one of God. our did favorite you, did, late night places. So, did you propose to her hair as well? No, no, no. I'm not that romantic. But um, <laughs> it, was, it was the first time we ever spoke. But we were in a, in a group of people sitting around the fireplace, and uh, she actually. And she caught your eye, or you caught her eye? She had caught my eye for a very long time before that, but that was the first time we ever. It's the first spoke. time you'd actually kind of been together. Yeah, and this you, was and, the, the place. And you had, you felt, I've got the opportunity now to talk to her and sort of. You were attracted to her. Oh yeah, but actually, she—it wasn't even that romantic. She called me out on something. She walked over, and I won't repeat what it was. But she <laughs> oh, actually, cool. typical, typical woman. She started a conversation with me, and it started out a little tense, but it ended up. And it ended, it ended up, up good great. because you—it you, was probably a good thing. Oh, it was a fantastic thing. Because you saw thing. another side of her yep. that you were now prepared for. And we've been married almost four years now. Four, oh, yeah. how wonderful! So, and this is one of our favorite places. I wanted a little housekeeping, though. This. I finished this beer about 10 minutes ago. I'm going to get rid of this if you don't mind. Because I know that the wait staff doesn't like to come back here. You're filming, and it's uh, so they don't normally so come back here. And back I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's get that out of here. We don't need that anymore. Because <laughs> you saw what he just did, didn't you? It completely vanished. Now, a lot of hypnotists. So, uh, they was use a hypnotist trick. A lot of hypnotists, their power rests in their eyes. Uh, Is so that they why wear you're glasses, glasses to prevent. Yeah, but that's an old. Myth so that goes off too. So it's that's gone. a myth. So the Let's beer's gone. That myth. That's gone. Um, the next thing, I might be gone. So <laughs> enjoy me while I'm here because I could just disappear. That's about one of the only magic tricks I know. Those are the ma <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I yeah. don't believe that at all. So being a hypnotist, yes. um, you know, it's, it's, um, I think it's something that sort of um, you have to have a lot within to understand people. Yeah. And how do you manage, how do you get the people that you want to hypnotize? Well, uh, a lot of different ways. You know, the sensation of hypnosis is a very good sensation. It's a very refreshing, wonderful thing to feel. And uh, all of us go in and out of hypnosis at least a couple times a day. When you're falling asleep, when you're waking up, you're in that dream-like focused state. I've been hypnotized. That's hypno uh, have you through been a doctor. A oh, through, through a doctor. doctor. So hypnotherapy? Uh, uh, well, I don't know if that's what it was, but I went to her and I wanted to be hypnotized. Um, I think, I don't know if I was smoking. It was something I was doing at the time. Okay. And truly, she just put me out. Yeah. And then she had to shake me because I'd gone, like, I'd gone. Yeah, you were gone. You were I was, out. Right. I was gone completely. And, right. uh, but it worked. Right. It worked. But right. that was, um, I'm, I'm one of these people um, that I put walls up. Sure. Uh, and, and, and with her, I didn't because right. that, that's what I was there for. Right. Right. To sort of, you know. So I, I, do you find a lot of people that are afraid of being hypnotized in case of what they say or what they do? Absolutely. And that's why it's important that you trust your hypnotist, okay. right? So uh, what I always tell people is that hypnosis is not a challenge between the two of us. If no. you are challenging me to hypnotize you, I probably don't want to waste time on that because you don't. if you don't want it, why would we do it? Well, well right. that's absolutely true. Right. So, yeah. But you have to trust your hypnotist, and it's very important that a hypnotist be ethical and trustworthy and, no. and have a clean record of, of taking care of, of their people. Care. Now, sure. do you do it as of... Helping people, say somebody um, smokes or drinks, mm -hmm. do you actually get patients? Are you a doctor? I am not a doctor. You're not a doctor. I am not a okay. doctor. This woman was a doctor of hypnosis. Yeah. hypnosis. No, I tell fart jokes. <laughs> Another that's one. What, that's what I do with what hypnosis. Is this? I tell <laughs> fart jokes. <laughs> oh, Another one. Okay, it's an interesting question, though. I actually have partnered with um, a friend of mine, Goldie Ishtakov, 
who is a certified hypnotherapist okay. and has a degree in psychology, and we do smoking cessation and things like that to help people addiction. Yeah, because um, I was therapy. thinking because you could. Because I, what I know about this right. is that you can actually help people. Because it, then it turns around and says to me, it's all psychological of everything you do. Absolutely. Right now, your brain is controlling your breathing, your heart rate, your blood flow. You don't have to think about these things. They just happen. Your brain is a very powerful tool. So it's a matter of shutting down our cognitive factor and stop analyzing everything around us and just let your brain do its job. And that's what hypnosis you know, is all about. It's funny you should say that because I, I do that a lot without mm -hmm. knowing I do it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't let um, other people actually get me down. Right. And the reason I don't do that, because it's coming from them, not me. That's right. It's all, if, if they turn around and say, well, Nina, why did you do that? Or you are this or you are that. And okay, that's what you think of me, fine. Right. But that's what you think, not all, me. All of your confidence, all of your power, everything, your, your entire being is here. It, it's all in the brain. It's all here. I love the brain so right? much. And I, you can, I love the brain. Right, and you can lock people out, but you can also let the right people in. in right? How do we recognize, or, well, hypothetically, how do we recognize to let the right people in by seeing them on a surface and not really knowing them? and then finding out that, ooh, I wish I didn't know this person. That is a much deeper question that I should probably tackle. <laughs> okay. Like oh. I said, fart, fart jokes. Fart okay. jokes, yeah. Yes. If you want any fart jokes. No, I don't want any fart no I just fart had, jokes. I just had a gentleman on, and he had this rubber thing, and I don't know, makes yeah. all sorts of... Kool-Aid man. Kool -Aid man. Yeah, he's very funny. Stuff. Very yeah, funny. he's a funny guy. Yeah. And he rattled off all the engagements he has, so we know he's working. He is um, booked quite extensively. He yeah. is, and I think that's pretty cool, Kool-Aid. Yeah. Oh, He's going to be <laughs> down joke. at uh, Jokesters at the yes. D. That's uh, Don Barnard's club. Yes, also a friend of mine, great, great guy. He's also a, a hypnotist, comedy hypnotist. Oh, right. And Don. Uh, so how runs well is this hypnotism there. going? Oh, fantastic! And how long have you been in it? Now, I've been in it about five years. What made you go into it? Oh boy, uh, my buddy Kevin Lapine. Kevin, if you're watching, he's Kevin Lapine. I know Kevin. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> Woo! When are you coming on my show, Kevin? Come yeah, on. Kevin. Come hey, on, Kevin. Kevin. I Come must on, go, Kevin. I must get Kevin up. Kevin, yeah, why? He's Kevin? lovely. Where are you? He's hiding. He's hypnotized himself. Yeah, so uh, that's another thing that I wanted to, to speak with you about and your viewing audience is that a couple years ago, Kevin and I teamed up and did some charity work together. How and we called it Hypnosis Helps. And yes. uh, Mark Savard got involved, Don Barnhart, Anthony Cools, a lot of Vegas entertainers jumped in, and we raised money for a tier one low income Vegas elementary school. Oh, how that yeah. you've got you've got me. You've okay, got my so heart. so this is my commercial for anybody so, watching because we're going to do it again this year. We're going to partner with the Tier One School, and what we did, we raised money to provide Christmas for these kids. So Tier One schools, low income, a lot of them didn't have a jacket in the middle of winter. They didn't have a, a fresh shirt to wear, their uniform shirt. So what we did, just briefly, we we raised money. We brought in four Santa Clauses. We had a bevy of elves and all the helpers. Um, Stabile Productions helped out. They brought down a lot of the showgirls from the X shows that handed out gifts. So every kid in that school, every single kid, 750 children, got a new jacket, a new uniform shirt, and a toy this is amazing. from their personalized Christmas list. And they get they got to sit on Santa's lap. We had four Santas. All 700. All 750 kids. 750 yep. kids. Now yep. you obviously know, and I try to mention this all the time, is the six, uh, 15 or 16,000 homeless kids mm -hmm. in Vegas. And some of them attended that school. And some of them attended that school. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, and, and that's another thing I was saying. A lot of these young kids attend the school, but they never let anybody know right. where they come from. That's right. And I've always thought that's uh, one thing they're ashamed. Two, they're right. afraid of being molested if people know where they are. Because right. the, uh, they live actually under the freeways. Right. But think about places. they all got a toy, which is very Christmas, but they all got a fresh shirt and a jacket. But a jacket. Now you can't tell who's homeless. They can fit right in. They, they don't have to be are. ashamed. They got a fresh shirt, a fresh jacket. We're going to do it again this year. And our goal this what time. What date this year? Uh, we're going to start probably in October raising funds, making okay. it aware. It's called Hypnosis Help. There's a, a Facebook page for it, Hypnosis Helps. Okay. And, um, and our goal this year is to raise enough money for the toy, the jacket, the shirt, and also a pair of shoes for every child. Okay. So for so about five years. If we can be of any that. help, of letting anybody on our show and letting, and when it comes close to it, come back on and we'll That would we'll be great. Maybe more. I can pull Kevin down here. Yeah, well, get, come on, Kevin. Come oh, on, yeah. Kevin. He, I know he'll come What's down. He doesn't even know I'm probably here anyway. That's all right. We'll, we'll let him know. We'll, we'll let him know he'll come we'll down because he's a great guy. Actually, yeah. he did put me up on stage. 
Oh, did he? But I was one of them that left. Oh, boy. I so you challenged my buddy, Kevin. Well, it's not that I challenge... I, oh, I don't challenge anybody. It's just that I'm, I'm just sort of... I'm very difficult, I think, because I'm more interested in how he does it and right. what he's doing. So you're literally analyzing everything that's happening. We are watching happening. everything that's going on, and I'm watching right. if they're doing this, and are they... Um, I'm more interested... Can I tell you the best feeling in the world, sometimes... Yes. ...when you trust your environment, is just Let letting... Go. I think well, I did that with my doctor. Yes, because I knew who she was, and, and it was beneficial. Like, and it, oh, absolutely, one hundred percent beneficial. One hundred percent, it made me feel. My good. favorite line ever: "Stop resisting." Stop resist. No, that sounds. Sometimes, too... yeah, but just I guess the best word is stop resisting. Stop resisting. Let, let go. Let go. Just, just let go. You know, I've often said that we worry about things before they ever happen, and those things never happen anyway. Oh, yeah. Is that a famous one? Well, why would you want to make yourself anxious? Anxiety's a killer. Well, see, I, I Anxiety's don't Anxiety's a killer. Anxiety will put you in the hospital. Oh. Only focus your, your attention on things that you can control. Well, that you can control or you have control or you have influence of, over. or right. you have influence That's over. Right. And as long as it's kind of in the positive, um, nice way of improving... And I always feel this is a good thing, improving somebody else's life. That's right. If you can improve like you do with these children, you're helping, you're giving these children that somebody actually thought about me, somebody actually got me a jacket. And the reward for all of us that were involved outdid any of it. Yeah. I mean, it was the most emotional day you could ever imagine. The kids, 750 children lined the hallways and they sang Christmas carols to us. You wouldn't believe it. it the, the, I can believe it. The, I mean, I it's a once in a lifetime it. thing. It's lightning in a bottle. So we're going to redo it. I, we're going to make it a twice in a lifetime thing. I had thing. a TV talk show called Voices of Tomorrow and I used to interview kids from 11 to 18. And then I managed to get into the um, juvenile halls and I did five mm -hmm. shows in juvenile hall and I gave them, we brought in police, um, fire department, the colleges. They never knew they had the privilege of even doing interns with these places right. or even going to a community college. Right. They had no idea. They didn't think they had that privilege. Right. So we opened up a whole new arena for them that's right. that, that, yes, you can go there and you can do that's that. Right. And I think that's what we need to do more with our kids, that it's, you know, that they can go out there. Where, can, where, where were you performing? You performing I'm performing all over. So I just wrapped up a high school tour uh, for about, well, the last six months I performed in 18 different states. I've been all over the country, oh, everywhere from Does South Dakota to the South. Sometimes. Okay. Now, my wife is a star and choreographer of Burlesque at the Flamingo, where she's been for 15 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Can, and we, so, can she come on? <laughs> uh, I might be able to coax her in. She's probably watching now. Where, yeah, where is she? Where are you? Honey, on, I, know, you, I know you're in the car, so be careful. Don't look at the screen. Just listen to my voice. Um, and don't let it put you to sleep Yeah, no, either. no, she won't. She's good. She's good. Um, <laughs> I can just see her driving like, don't. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll get her on. But yes. she's she's very busy with her own show. Of course, which, yes. which runs seven nights a week at the Flamingo. Yes. So when she's, like our New Year's trip, we went to Britain, South Dakota, and did a show. They flew us out there, and she was able to join me for that, which is nice. Oh, so wonderful. I just wrapped up that tour, and I've got a public show coming up. At Blondie's, which is at okay, Planet Blondes, Hollywood, yes, right? Blondie's yes, in the mall Blondes, Planet Hollywood. Yes. Awesome. Friday, July 14th at 8 p.m. Okay. It's going to be a free show. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I was going to say, can I get some tickets? But I don't need Absol tickets. I've got, I got tickets. I'll get you a discount. <laughs> so, <laughs> a discount on being free. <laughs> and it's actually my birthday, so come down, buy me a shot, and uh, oh, celebrate my birthday. Shot. We're well, going to see. I'm going to bring my crew with me. Please, bring, thing, the, bring, the, bring, bring the crew. Them, bring them come so along. So it's, it's Friday, the four, July 14th, 8 p.m. at Blondie's, PM. and it's okay. a free show. We'll open the doors. It, there, Of course, Blondie's is already open, but we'll open the doors to the show about 7.15. Um, uh, uh, under 18s or under 21s? Uh, it is 21 and older. 21 and Older, it's a okay. bar, and this is going to be my adult show. So, <laughs> oh, I just did my high school show. tour. Now this is well, the adult he, show. Okay, so he come got prepared. So tired of these yeah. kids. Yeah. No, no, no. Clean. The kids were fantastic. Yeah, but you had to be clean. Well, I do a lot of corporate shows, and it's all clean material. And yes. honestly, some of that is funnier than the adult stuff. But the adult stuff's fun. Just cut what loose. What makes you Vegas. so different to everybody else that's doing kind of the same thing? Not, I'm a cookie cutter. I fit right in. I no, I. The, the challenge, I love it. The, the, the big challenge in hypnosis, you know, it, everybody says everything's been done already. Well, it hasn't. You can write your own comedy routines. You can write oh, your own no. bits. You can do your own. Yes. Be, be yourself. So the best advice I was ever given on stage, be yourself. And be it took you. me years to figure out who I who was, was on the stage. Yeah. And now yeah, it's, it's funny. Easy. Once you're yourself, you can float through anything. You just you go can, up there. You, I know. I know the material, and you just have fun with people. And the great thing is, 
the volunteers are the stars of the show. So every show is different. Yes, you of know, course. depending on who comes up on stage, joins. And then me. also because of your position, you can pick all the ones that you can really talk to. You can have some fun with that yes. too. Yeah, because yeah, because some will talk more and some yeah. will talk less. And all their personalities shine. Can I do a quick hypnosis demonstration? I know we're limited yes, on time. No, Something no, for not. everybody. No, we're not. Oh, we're, we're not good. limited on time. Go oh, ahead. We're I good want... because the guy behind the camera keeps doing this to me, and I don't know what that. That means cut your head off. Oh, he's trying to cut my head off. Game of Thrones is coming. <laughs> he was, he's trying to see if he's practicing if, if your head will disappear. Go ahead. He just keeps doing Go on. I'm kidding. Um, so this is for everybody watching. You can join along. I'd like you to do this with me. All right, I will. Well. Let's see. Now, this is important. You're not going to go to sleep. This is not going to put you into hypnosis. But if you're driving, let's be smart. Both hands on the wheel. Don't don't, don't participate. Stop. But if you're at home sitting at your desk, something like that, you're watching it back later. Try you're it. You like place. it. Yeah, try it. You like it. This is very simple. Uh, go ahead and put your hands out in front of you like this. Put your hands together. Interlock your fingers. Point your index fingers out just like this. Now hold this up right about here. Okay. Now I'm going to touch your hand, reposition you here. Now what I'm going to have you do is pull your fingers about that far apart. Everybody at home can do that. And I want you to just focus on your fingertips and notice just now those fingertips start to come together and touch all by themselves. They move all by themselves. Wow, yours came together really quick. Wow. Now do you know why that happens? No. Because I'm a hypnotist, of course. <laughs> if, if your fingers moved at home, clap now. I, can't I hear hear some clapping. I can't <laughs> hear. Oh, do you hear them? I had them. There's some clapping coming from the corner of the bar. Yeah, there you go. So that's how hypnosis Isn't works. Isn't that it's funny as how that, that works? You so focus on something. You, you, Look at you, that. No, really. No, yeah. then, and I'm not, I'm not doing it myself. No, I'm really not relax. doing it. No, I know. I'm really not. <laughs> but if you, if you focus on something and you relax for a moment and you, you, you hear the suggestion, yeah, the suggestion one becomes a reality. That's one of my favorite words is when people are doing something in business or whatever, I say, stay focused just focus. on what you're doing. Just focus. It's and then, you it, then you'll be a winner. It becomes your reality. If you look, if you visualize yeah. anything in your life, you can materialize it. I really believe that. See, I really believe that. I See mean, how simple life is and how complicated he's it cut, is. He's cut my and head he off can, again. I don't know if he's cutting my head off or your head off, but I think it's time to close out because, <laughs> ooh, we're over time. That's They're okay. We don't out. care. Um, so they can see you July 14th July 14th Blondie's 8 p.m. show show up around 7 o'clock have a cocktail come have some fun how do they get in touch with you uh, Steve Falcon hypnosis on Facebook Instagram YouTube you name it we've social also got media here we come hypnosis helps stay tuned because this December we're gonna make a difference again so Absolutely. love it, it I out. love it I love it well on that I'm going to check out myself I'm going to be yeah, hypnotized after that. this. He's got the glasses back on. Right. Little do I know, you'll probably bring the beer back. <laughs> he know. lost me and I'm That's back. No, it's gone. No, it's a rubber bottle. It's, it's, it's still here. It's it's still, there you are. I told you I'd bring it back. What did I say? There you go. We'll, well be right back. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you very much. You're wonderful. We'll be back. <laughs>